So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael, take a seat and I'll teach you how to play Rhino Hero Super Battle by Haber, a game where you're each superheroes trying to climb your way to the top of a tower. Whoever is at the top at the end will win and, well, the end happens when you knock the tower down because, frankly, superheroes, you know, they smash stuff, it happens. Set up the game, start by taking these three tiles and place them so that they're yellow dot side up in a row. If you want to make it harder, you can turn some of them over so that the red dots are showing. It means you've got less dots there, so you're going to have less bases in your tower. Next, each player is going to pick a hero to be and take the wooden hero token for that. So we've got the rhino, the giraffe, the elephant, and the penguin, or backquin, as it may be. You'll then need to fold all the walls so that they're at right angles. So you'll have a stack of short walls and a stack of tall walls. Then take the floor tiles and shuffle these all up, deal three to each player, and then set out a market of three tiles, which is face up. Finally, you're going to need the superhero medal near the board, as long with the four spider monkey tokens and the three dice. Decide who your first player is and you're ready to begin. The aim of the game is to be at the top of the tower when the tower falls and not be the person who knocks it over so that you have this token. If you have the medal token and you knock the tower over then every other player wins. So how do you take a turn in this? Well you start you have your three floor tiles. You'll pick one of these to play. Now, there are a few features to be aware of with these. You will have, potentially in the middle, a spider monkey icon. This will mean that you'll need to place out a spider monkey token during your turn. You'll also have walls. Now, the yellow bordered ones are your tall walls, and then your green bordered ones are your short walls. You'll either have two or one walls. They might be the same size or they might be different sizes. Once you've picked which floor you're going to play, you'll then take the walls that match it. So this one, we've got one tall one. And when there's nothing else there, your only option is to place it so that the point is in one of the circles. It can be anywhere in the circle, it is up to you. And then you place balance gently so it doesn't fall your floor on top of that wall. If it has a spider icon, you then have to put a spider monkey token hooked on there. There we go. And have managed it. And then you would roll the dice to see if you get to go up a floor. So I rolled one. So let's say I'm the rhino. I get to move up a floor. The way floors are determined in this is it's looking at each level. So at the moment we only have one level which is here. If we had a short wall with a floor on it, this would be level one and then this would be level two. Although they're only one floor up and they're in separate stacks because looking sideways if you flatten the image that's how the floors lie. Having moved my hero it would then be time to see if there's a battle. Now, a battle occurs if you have two heroes on the same floor. It doesn't matter where they are, just if they're on the same floor. So if you have floor one has multiple kind of sections, if you will, one over here, one over there, but there are heroes on floor one, you then have a battle. The way a battle is resolved, whoever just moved onto the floor will roll the red dice. Whoever was already there, will roll the blue dice as the defender. Whoever gets the highest result wins the battle. It's that simple. If you win the battle, you get to stay on that floor. If you lose, you go down. It is possible that if you move down, you're then gonna have another battle where this time, whoever moved down is the attacker. And you'll resolve all of the battles till everyone is on their own on a floor. At this point, you determine who gets the superhero medal? And that's whoever is on the highest floor. At this point, if anyone but them knocks the tower over, the person with the medal is going to win. 
if the person with the medal knocks the tower over, every other player wins. With that done, there's one final thing for them to do on their turn, and that's to replenish their hand of floor tiles. They have a choice. They can take one of the free face-up tiles, or they can draw blind off the top of the deck. Once they've done this, play then passes to the next player, and you keep doing this until the tower falls. At that point, you determine who your winner is based on who has the medal and who made the tower fall, and then it's the end of the game. The game can also end if everyone is out of floor tiles. At this point, whoever has the superhero medal is the winner. And that is how you play Rhino Hero Super Battle by Haber. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing and sharing. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.